What's going on, YouTube? Mike, aka Madness DFS with the Sharp App DFS Army on Twitter and in our Discord's back with another NBA playoffs prize picks video. Recording this on Wednesday, but this is going to be for Thursday, May 9th. And I've got three of the best plays on the board for you. I wanted to get ahead of this one because the the props that I found, I think, may bump. So I want to get ahead of that bump, um, seeing some good value with them. So getting ahead of it, and hopefully we can take advantage. Hit that like and subscribe on your way in. Helps us grow this channel and get you as much free content as we can. And if you're not already on Prize Picks or Sleeper, you see the promo code on your screen, MAD, M-A-D-D. You can use that on either prize picks or sleeper, and they're going to match your first deposit. Sleeper, they're going to match up to $100 or $500, and prize picks is going to uh, match you up to $100. This video is brought to you by prize picks, though, so we're going to focus on prize picks. And when you use that promo code, shoot me a message, either in Discord, Twitter, in the comments, and I will get you hooked up with two free months of Sharp App Pro which gets you access to all of our premium tools, which I'll run through in a bit here. And if I can get my screen shared here, there we go. And it gets you access to our sleeper, or uh, not sleeper, Discord, which is extremely beneficial to what you're doing. We have sleeper picks we're dropping all day, prize picks. Schwami's dropping some DK pick sixes. I mean, we're dropping these all damn day. Anthony's got the sharp report that's coming out multiple times per day. Get you the latest one here for Wednesday. Shows you where the sharp money is at, where the whale plays are at, where the squares are at, and where the fades are at. So if you're heading to the sports book or if you're opening up the DK app or whatever app you're using, be sure to check this out. Extremely beneficial to what you're doing. And the rest of our coaches, me included, we're dropping same game parlays, prop plays, straight bets. Mutt's got ladders in there. I mean, we've got everything you can imagine. So. Um, including some boosts that uh, the the sites offer. So check those out. We do have a free channel as well. We're dropping free plays in there all damn day too. So if you're not interested in being a paid member, at least check out our free page. And if you like what you see, join us then. So that was a lot of talking. Let's get to the first play on the board. What do you say? The Proptimizer, our prize picks, tool for prize picks, isn't... Um, uploaded with tomorrow's slate yet just because it's so far in advance but we do have mlb plays loaded up we have nba plays for tonight um i have a video out for that so go check it out over on the youtube channel if you're watching this before the pacers and knicks tip off but it's the best prize picks tool in the industry we have the same tool for sleeper you load it up it gives you the best plays on the board there's a mobile version for it as well so if you're out at the game at the bar on the golf course or you simply don't feel like getting up off the couch, load it up, spit out some winners, and make a little bit of money. So check that out. Um, like I said, I used it for the, the video I dropped this morning for Pacers Nick. So go check that video out when you are done watching this one. Get this closed out here. Okay, first play on the board. We're going to go to Al Horford from Boston. Heading, not heading anywhere. They are playing the... Um, Cavaliers at home. I don't know why that took me so long, but we're going to go under nine and a half points. Juice to the under at the sports books. We don't have to pay that juice on prize picks. Under this number in eight of his last nine games, you can see under the five over on prize picks. Yes, they are still without Chris Tapps Porzingis, which is going to open up minutes. He's going to start, um, but he is almost always going to be the last offensive option when he's on the court he's generally on the court with jason tatum jalen brown drew holiday Derek white at least two of those guys if not all of them he's just not gonna demand the ball like those guys so like taking the under here also a tough matchup um i mean battled with evan mobley last game there's a chance they get jared allen back as well in this one great defender so if he has to deal with those two stiffs down low even if it's just Mobley Mobley's a great defender like going here Cavs are also allowing the third least points per game to opposing big men on the season just doesn't set up well for Horford to go out and drop a couple of couple of points I will say as a Bucks fan I do have nightmares of him just splashing threes from the top of the key but even if he hits three we're still going under uh because hey 
three is nine. So I like taking the under on Al Horford to kick us off. Next up, we are going to go to Donovan Mitchell. And we're going to go over 39 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. He's their entire offense right now. When he was off the court last game, we saw their offense come to a – they hit a brick wall. I mean, it's as simple as that. Over this number in three straight games, if we pull up his game log here. And we've seen him go on these runs in the past, uh, specifically that 2020 COVID season, when him and TJ Warren and Jamal Murray were just absolutely torching. Um, but we've seen him do it. He, he just puts the team on his back and runs. And I think that's the case again here. They don't have the offensive firepower without him out there, especially with Darius Garland out there just – doesn't look like he knows what he's doing offensively. Um, so look for him to continue to carry. He's averaging 41 and a half points, rebounds, and assists in two games in the regular season against the Celtics. And he had 44 last game in the postseason game. Going to play all the minutes he can handle. He was gassed in that game, but he was still out there chucking. So like taking the over 39 and a half for Donovan Mitchell for your second play. Before we round it out with the last play on the board, make sure to hit that like and subscribe one more time. Like I said, helps us get you all the free content we can get you. And join the Discord. Let me know when you're in there, and I'll uh, show you where to kind of show you around, shoot the shit with you. Let you know my my Packers fandom, even if you don't want to hear it. So sorry about that. Just kidding. Uh, last play on the board, we are going to go to Lou Dort. We're going to go over 16.5 points, rebounds, and assists for Mr. Lou Dort. And, man, I love dude Lou Dort. Any team in the league could use this guy. He's gone over this number in three of his last four games. He's going to play all the minutes he can handle. He's going to be the Luka stopper in this series. He's going to – he should match every minute Luka's out there. He didn't last game. He struggled with some fouls and a little bit of a blowout in that game. Uh, 26 minutes. But he's normally pretty good about limiting those fouls, even against like a Luka-led team where, you know, th those guys are great at drawing fouls. One – He's averaging just over three and a half fouls per game in five games against Dallas this season. So kind of have a sample size there. And the officials are just swallowing their whistle in the postseason, kind of letting these guys be. I mean, we saw it in the Timberwolves game. These guys are just hounding Jamal Murray. Earlier in the season, those hand checks would be called fouls, and they're not calling it anymore. So like going back to Lou Dort here, he's not afraid to shoot either especially from the three-point line, and he can get hot from back there. I mean, when Dallas is honing in on Shea, Chet, Jalen Williams, he's just out there waiting for a shot. So I like taking Lou Dort in this one to round us out. I'll be dropping more plays in the Discord as we get closer to tip, more MLB plays as well. I know Schwami's going to be in there. So come join us. We got all the, all the plays you can imagine. Hit that like one more time for me. I will catch you guys. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow morning with a uh, baseball video, so check that out as well. So we'll catch you guys then. Peace out. Thanks.